welcome back to this week's episode of Ocean Sales TV. In this week's episode, we're going to get into our info series of Live Better. We'll show you how to with the Aquablade. So today we're going to show you guys how to with the Aquablade. Now, if you bought the Aquablade package at one of the trade shows, this is the components you get in the kit. You get the washer, and this is what you're actually going to use to wash the window, and it does come with a microfiber pad. Also, you get a spare microfiber pad, just in case you're in between laundry or if you're doing a big area and it starts to get saturated. You get the Aquablade itself, and it comes with a drip tray. And that drip tray is there to catch excess moisture for if you're doing lots of surfaces or surfaces high up. You also get the mini Aquablade. A lot of people find this really handy for doing mirrors, car windshields, small hard surfaces, as well as the extension pole. And of course, this is to do the higher up windows in the house. So to get started, the solution that I'm using today is just water, vinegar, and dish soap. You don't have to be picky. I have about eight liters of water here. I used about one quarter cup of vinegar, and I used about three to four good shots of dish soap. Reason I use the vinegar is it's a natural cleaner, plus it just helps with any streaks you might happen to get, although the aqua blade's great enough leave streaks to begin with. So to get started, you're gonna take your washer with the microfiber cloth. You're gonna dip it just lightly into the water. I find a lot of people dump the whole thing in. This is a great way to get a lot of water all over the place. I don't want a lot of liquid. You want a lot of suds. That's what you're doing your cleaning power. And the nice thing is, it's always foam dry right away. And again, flat, straight down. And that's it. No streaks, no smears, and no excess liquid all over the base of your window. So let's get into squeaking. That sometimes happens. The reason you'll get squeaking when cleaning a window is the simple fact of not pushing the blade hard enough against the glass. If you leave it light on there, when you're going down, you're gonna get a squeaking sound. You're not gonna be getting all the water off the window. To eliminate squeaking, easy fix. All you do is bend the blade. You don't just wanna to lightly touch the glass. I want you guys to bend the blade. That by itself will eliminate any squeaking you might hear. Another question we get all the time is leaking. Again, this is a really easy fix. If you take the washer and fully submerse it into the water, that's a lot of water you're putting all over your window. Cleaning a window is all about the suds, not the liquid. So all I want you guys to do when you're dipping your washer, don't submerse it in the water. Some people like to put the dish soap in the water. I personally like to put the dish soap right onto the microfiber cloth. And then what you'll see is you are getting all sun, not all the liquid. That's gonna stop water from running down your arm when you're reaching up high. It's gonna stop water from running all over your window frame and on the carpenter floor underneath. So the whole thing to stop the leaking is just more suds, less liquid. Now there's no right or wrong way to wash the window. You can go in semicircles up and down. Everybody washes the window in their own little pack. Now that the window has the soap and it's washed, what I want you guys to do is to take the aqua blade. Now, a lot of people, like using an old squeegee, want to go side to side, okay? Aqua blade's a little different. I want you guys to go straight on the window, but the trick with this product is to bend the blade, okay? That's how this works. You bend it so that blade's at a 90 degree angle, and then it's straight down. And this, by bending the blade, eliminates streaking, as well as any squeaking you might get while going up and down the window. If you're doing a big area, all that liquid's gonna go down into the drip tray. Me personally, I bring a little towel with me and I give it a wipe the odd time. There's no right or wrong way to do that. You can use a towel, you can let it collect in the drip tray. But again, it's press and then straight down. It's really, really easy. The Aqua Blade is silicone. It's why it works so well. It's also why you want to bend the blade to clean the window. Your silicone actually has, you can see it down this way, okay, two lips, one on each side. Each one's good for about four years, okay? So it doesn't mean your aqua blade's done after four years. It's just what you want to do when the one side wears down, you're gonna unscrew it, flip the blade, and re-screw it back on. Now you have another four year life with your silicone aqua blade. 
The other maintenance will be your microfiber wash pads. They're microfiber, like all the best cleaning cloths out there. When you wash them in the washing machine, any cycle's fine, no fabric softener. You won't ruin the cloth, but if you wash it with fabric softener or in the dryer with a bounce sheet, you are going to get streaks on your glass, and that's because you are now spreading the fabric softener on your glass. So washer and dryer is fine, but no fabric softener, no bounce sheets. So, for more great videos like this, and to learn how to live better, we'll show you how to join us weekly on Ocean Sales TV. Don't forget to subscribe, like, follow, and share for great info series on Ocean Sales TV.